Please click the red subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so that you will not miss out any of my videos. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the sugar translucent powder. So I've been using this product really a lot after I bought the product because I like the product so much. So let's get started and if you're new here and if you're watching this video for the very first time, please take some time to subscribe my channel. It means a lot to me and don't forget to click the bell icon which is next to the subscribe button and give this video if you really find this helpful. So let's get started. So the sugar translucent powder is called all set to go translucent powder and comes with a cardboard outer packaging like this. I totally love the packaging of all of the sugar products and uh, this one is formulated in Italy and it's a cruelty free product which is thumbs up great and it has ingredients like talc, aluminium, starch um, and some chemical names which I really don't know and it is a paraben free product. So this one has a shelf life of um, 3 years and this one is priced for 600 rupees and you get a um, quantity of 7 grams. So this sugar translucent powder is available on Nika, Amazon, on sugar website itself. So the availability is very very good. So there are no shades uh, for this translucent powder. It just comes with one color which is white in color. And uh, it does not have any um, you know color to it like it is very translucent. And uh, this is how the packaging is. It comes with a mirror and a very soft um, powder puff which is great. But I, re I really don't like the packaging of this because it's quite messy. And if you really uh, you know peel the transparent film here, you tend to lay take a lot of product and the whole packaging uh, becomes very very messy which I really don't like. So I am very very careful when I'm using this product. I just um, you know just tap once at the back of this I get a lot of powder on my hand and I use it with the puff given here so the packaging wise this one is not like too good because if you are traveling with this I think you have to keep it separately in a purse so that the other makeup products do not get messy so talking about the powder itself it's very finely milled and uh, you really really can feel how soft it feels on your fingers it's very very soft and once you uh, press this powder on your skin it just mattifies your skin wherever you apply it like your under eye areas or the rest of the face you just feel that um, the makeup is set and you know it's very very uh, mattified so like i've been using this product for many of the makeup tutorials which i recently updated uploaded you can just see that i'll be continuously using this product this you know sets or you know keeps my makeup in place for about three four hours after which i can feel that um, this feels a little dry on the under eye area and uh, a little shine um, comes off after like four or five hours of your makeup so if you have very dry skin and mainly under eye dry skin then I would highly highly recommend you to go with a very good eye cream and really moisturize your skin well if you're setting this um, for your whole face so basically translucent powders are powders which are made to set makeup uh, so they do not give you uh, extra uh, color to your makeup or you know it does not mix with your foundation or your concealer so it's they are very translucent or they are very transparent that's what the definition of a translucent powder is so I totally like how this uh, powder worked but if you like are on the go or if you want your makeup to stay for um, full 8, 9, 10 hours then I think you have to really give this powder um, breaks and you have to really touch up so that your foundation your uh, concealer stays in place and does not crease and does not look bad under your eyes so once I wore this foundation for a photography section and uh, I felt that without setting this with a good um, spray or a setting mist I felt that I did have a lot of flashback after I see a lot of uh, reviews and how to use this without getting a flashback then I found that uh, I should use a setting spray or a setting mist so that it, I don't get a lot of flashback. So I did find that it had a very very minimal uh, flashback uh, even after using a setting spray, uh, not like without a setting, setting spray. 
so be careful if you are using this uh, powder for a photography session something like that or if you are attending any weddings where you get the photographs flashed and you don't look like a white thing under your eyes and i've used this on my makeup today as well and it's been like two three hours and now it feels good like it does not feel uh, that it's oily or drying but after four five hours you can feel that it is very drying uh, before like six months before the winters i didn't have very dry under eye area but after the winters or when the winter started i really had very dry skin and basically on my cheeks and the under eye area so um, i don't preferably uh, use this during the winters i would say i'm not going to be using this for the next winters because it will make my skin too dry so i think this would work really well for the summers which are going to be hitting us very hot this year so that's all so that's all for today's review guys and that's all i think about the translucent powder it's a very good recommendation for people who are looking for an affordable stuff uh, because it's 600 rupees i don't think 600 rupees is too affordable but if you want to invest on good cosmetic makeup then i think 600 will do and uh, if you purchase from the um, you know sugar website i think you get a 10% discount on your first order and a 5% discount uh, for any order made with a uh, online transaction so try that if you want to get some discount because that's how i got my translucent powder i got from the sugar website itself so that's all for today's video guys i hope you like the video and find it to be helpful i'll be posting some pictures of uh, the flashback photos which I uh, used or I clicked with flashes so you find it helpful. I'll be meeting you very soon in my next one till then take care and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Bye!